Hey again, it's me, Boo, back for another top five. Um, this time, this is going to be my top five uh, foodie fragrances for the hot weather, uh, slash gourmand, slash yummy. Um, I've got a few honorable mentions that I'm going to knock out first. Um, sorry, the uh, my allergy has been making my nose itch, my eyes dry. I have just been, sorry about the whole rubbing my nose all the time. Anyway, um, this first one, whoa, this first one I love. And now again, these are what I consider foodie fragrances. Um, they may not be technically, but to my nose and the way I wear them, they are. So this first one is Blue Note Pour Femme by Bulgari. And this one is really yummy. It is a bright chocolate, vanillic kind of a smell without being cloying or too artificial smelling and it's really light it's totally non-offensive as uh, siage is polite um it lasts pretty good a little better on clothes than it does on my skin but totally recommend um that again is bulgari's blue note pour femme as an honorable mention and then uh, my next honorable mentions I'm putting together, and that's Comptoir Sud Pacifique, Caramel Sunset, and Coco Extreme. Let's see, there we go. Anyway, that is them. And they are both yummy. I wear them together a lot, but I also wear them separately. Ugh. And right out of the bottle, they smell similar because there's a heavy coconut smell. But honestly, this one does smell very caramely. And this one is much more chocolatey. And the sillage is polite. Again, you can't really offend anybody. Um, they'll just think you were in a bakery all day. And uh, uh, they last pretty good. Not too bad. But they're not very expensive either. And I love these whole metal industrial little bottles. My last... Um, uh, honorable mention is another set, another duo, um, and uh, this was, these are um, by Nobile 1942, and they're from the La Petite Chocolatier series, and it's number two and number three. Um, these I actually um, wear more going out when it's a little bit cooler out but i have grabbed them a few times in the warmer weather and like i said on my last top five in the citrus and happy notes i made these i i made my list and my honorable mentions not because these are my favorite gourmand but these are the ones i've been wearing the most i've been grabbing the most have been getting lots of compliments things like that um in my neck of the woods niche is pretty rare around here and we don't have access to a whole lot of niche fragrances and um because seattle's quite a long ways away it's a day's drive and so um i have noticed that it's cultural and regional how fragrances are um interpreted and um enjoyed by people now i've been through this whole process i've realized i love the niche i love interesting i love weird i love unique sense I love powerful sense statement making sense and I used to not be quite that way um, my biggest statement was wearing Angel by Thierry Mouclet and at first I didn't like niche very much uh, some of the ones I smelled I really didn't like that's why bond number no. nine will always be in my heart is one of my favorite 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 houses is because they really started changing my nose and now, like I said before, I'm ruined for a lot of the fragrances. I've been just giving away fragrances right and left. I gave away my Rihanna. I gave away my Beyonce. I gave away um, uh, my BCBG. Um, uh, oh, gosh, I've just given away a whole bunch because I know I'm not going to wear them. Rihanna's is a great foodie fragrance, but compared to these, it's nothing. It's just, I'm sorry, it's nothing. It doesn't have any dry down. It doesn't have the quality smell. And so for the, some of these fragrances here to get compliments is pretty weird around here because around here people don't smell niche very often, so it's weird to them. But 
the more I wear it around the people I'm 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 with the most, you know, my gals at work and stuff, they're really starting to get it. And once you get it, you can't go back. It, you just can't. Um, so I know that just because I don't get a lot of compliments on a fragrance makes no difference to me. Not around here. Because I know in a big city I would. Um, but around here, a lot of people just don't get it yet. And uh, hopefully in the future, but they may never get it. And that's okay with me because, like I said before, I'm only wearing these for myself and my husband. Um, everybody else that likes them when I wear them, bonus, but requirement, no. So again, um, now that I've gone off again, this is a Le Petit Chocolatier from Nobile 1942. Is it 1942? Um, oh, balls of joy. Um, yes, I believe it is. Nobile, 1942. 1942? Is it 1942? I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, but I don't have the box with me, and I don't want to go get it. Yes, Nobile, 1942. And this is honorable mention number two and number three. Number two is the nutty chocolate. Number three is the coconut chocolate. I mean, it's listed as just, co as just chocolate, but it really is a coconut chocolate. So those are my honorable mentions. So now I'm going to get started on my top five now that I've babbled through more than half. Um, and number five is number one in the Nobile 1942 La Petite Chocolatier series. Um, and number one is the Chocolate Fruity. Oh, and this is really good. This reminds me of chocolate covered cherries. And I have a couple other frags that are really expensive that claim to smell like chocolate covered cherries, but they don't have the sillage or the lasting power of this one. I was really impressed because the three of these in the, the culfret that they came in were super reasonable. They came out to like 30 bucks a piece on Lucky Scents, and I totally recommend it. It's, and they're great for, for layering with other fragrances. And, oh, I just love these guys. I have really started to wear the heck out of them. And right now I'm wearing the heck out of number one, which is the chocolate fruity. Like I said, it's, it smells like chocolate covered cherries or chocolate covered plums or something. Oh, it's yummy. So that's number five. Number four is uh, Dead Sexy by Tokyo Milk. And this is really nice. Oh, I like this one very much. Very vanilla milk chocolate, just a touch of milk chocolate, but very creamy vanilla, almost almost latte kind of a smell, but it's like sweet milk, honey, and vanilla is what it smells like to me. Oh, it's really, really yummy. So again, that's Tokyo Milk, Dead Sexy. And I tell you, I feel dead sexy. Okay, I feel live sexy. I don't want to be no zombie sexy, but I feel live sexy and yummy and edible when I wear this. And that's number four. Number three. Again, I have to thank Jay for turning me on to this. This is Aqua de Parma Blue Mediterranean Mandolo de, de Sicilia. And it is chocolate, little fruity, touch of floral maybe vanilla oh the sillage is great on this i get lots of compliments on this um it lasts a long time uh better on the clothes than the skin but great on both and i just you've got to take a snort of this one seriously um put down the rihanna and pick up the aqua di parma blue mediterraneo Mandorlo di Sicilia, and you won't be sorry. You will be ruined for other chocolate fragrances in the same genre and category. And this really is, it, this I would compare to the Rihanna Rebel, um, which I loved until I started getting some of these chocolate ones and rediscovering ones that I had hidden away. I, it was one of my favorites, and now I can't even look at the bottle and already gave it away. It's gone. Fini. So, number three. Number two is uh, by Il Profumo, and it's chocolate fresh. Fresh, fresh. Well, and this is a very bright chocolate. Oh, my dogs. 
I have uh, two dogs. One's a pit bull mix and one's a uh, Australian Shepherd mix, uh, Vlad and Radu. And Radu just thinks that he is king of the entire neighborhood. Nobody can walk by or anything without him giving his, you know, big dog snort. And thing is, he has no tail. He's a little tiny dog. He's, you know, maybe 30 pounds. And so he's ridiculous when he tries to act butch and macho. But we just let him because we don't want him to have, you know, self-esteem issues. So we let him think that he's in charge. Anyway, there I go again. Chocolate Fresh is my number two by El Perfumo. Again, this is a bright, it's almost a, almost a citrusy chocolate. Yeah, it's, it's a really bright chocolate though. You know, now this is more of a, a warm romantic kind of a vanilla chocolate. This is not a vanilla chocolate to me. It is a more citrus, not citrus, but a fruity, maybe a hint of lemon in there. Oh, I just totally recommend it. Totally check it out. Chocolate Fresh. And I think Chocolate, uh, which is the other version of this, I think this one is actually the, the Eau de Toilette and Chocolate is the perfume. I'm not sure. But I haven't tried the Chocolate, but give one of them. I've heard that they smell fairly similar, so give one of them a snort and I, I don't think you'll be sorry. So My number one is uh, not an expensive one. I don't even think, no, it's not even niche. And, but I have been grabbing it a lot lately. And that's Yuzu and Coco from the Gorilla line of Lush. This is a kind of a, a chocolate minty coffee smell. Um, it kind of reminds me if you were to get a chocolate mint mocha with dark chocolate but it it's that mint and that touch of coffee in there that just makes it so yummy and on my skin it just blossoms in the hot weather and the warmer it is the yummier yummier it is and because of that that uh, kind of mint smell that that I detect I, and I don't know if there's any mint in it but that's what I interpret is that there's some mint in there with the dark chocolates is it makes it so bright and perky and it and it just it's like getting a shot of espresso or something for me when I wear it so I have found that um, if it's you know um, hot out and I don't feel like wearing a citrus or a oriental or anything like that I've been grabbing this a lot lately and it does get the compliments even though it's it's yuzu and cocoa i mean it's kind of an odd combination almost niche ish um but i love it and i totally recommend it if you haven't tried any of the lush gorilla lines you really should give them a sniff um, again that's yuzu and cocoa from the gorilla line of lush and those are my top five foodie uh, uh hot weather frags and i'll be back probably with my uh the ones that don't really go in this category, they're kind of the orientals or the florals or, you know, maybe more of the figgy kind of ones, you know, that don't really go in my citrus and happy ones or my foodie gourmand ones. So anyway, I've got another top five coming up and I hope you all have a great weekend. And again, this is Boo. Peace.